I think many times what we see is we see that there's not a real great appreciation for the administrative side of a practice or the management side of a practice. And we get so involved in the productivity of a practice which drives the revenue coming in. There's no doubt about that. But you think about in the context of group practices, you begin to get into the groups of um, four, five, six, eight, beyond that. Now your management is not so much necessarily we all get together and we decide by consensus. Now somebody has to take a leadership role, whether it's the CEO of the, or president of the organization or the one that's in charge of all the money, the treasurer, you begin to look through and you see that there are management and administrative responsibilities that somebody has to do or should be doing to maintain the relationships that the practice needs to flourish, but sometimes it's difficult to get the producers to recognize the value that's associated with that. 